Hello all, in this video, we will use STM32Cube IDE to generate a simple code for LED blink uh, for the STM32WB55 eval board. So for this, you have to have STM32Cube IDE installed, which is uh, a IDE tool from ST Microelectronics. So once you install and open, uh, you see a window here, uh, go to file and go to new okay and then stm32 project click on so it tries to bring out all the <coughs> stm32 related uh, um, parts so here you search for stm32 wb55 okay and then rg so rg is the one which is present on nucleo so once you search here you can see here uh, it shows uh, the part that is present on nucleo wb55 rg and then p dash nucleo dash wb55 which is the eval board which we are using so so select that part okay and then you can select the particular part here and uh, you can select next below so for now let us try to view um, led blink okay and uh, let us give it as zero one for a clear identification and then next and finish okay so once it does it opens the uh, io configuration file in a gui um, we can see uh, it's time to create the project and it tries to open the GUA. So you can see this is the GUA with STM32 WB55 RGB6. Okay, now the LEDs in the schematic. So if you want to see the schematic, go to the schematic of MD55. In, the, in this schematic, we have um, it is connected to PB1, PB0, and PB5. Okay. So on the board also we have three LEDs, uh, which are towards the uh, connectors, and we have shown this in the introduction video of this board in another video. You can have a look. So we'll use PB5 here. Okay. Let us go back, and you can see here this is the pin configurator. You have PB5. Click on it and try to uh, select the configuration required for now we want a gpu output because it is an led you can see here it got selected okay so gpu output is selected here and once that is done um, you can click on uh, um, clock configuration and see what are what is the clock that is selected here so for the core the clock is selected as uh, mega edge so you can see there are Two cores as we have talked in the previous video one is cpu 2 and the other one is cpu 1 so which is uh, given uh, a 4 mega h clock here okay so um, this configuration can be changed as per your requirement and uh, this is derived from um, the <coughs> rc48 mega h uh, for the other things and for this uh, uh, we have a uh, <coughs> 16 mega h clock which is used for this okay so um, which is generating the required clock of um, high clock of 4 mega h and then which is being applied to um, the cpu one so that is the clock configuration here and you go to the project manager you see that uh, um, you have everything here and uh, mm -hmm. go to tools um, and you can also see uh, the different parameters here so you can ignore uh, um, this uh, particular uh, um, configurations because we are only talking about the led flash here okay once that is done try to close this window so it says save led blink uh, dot ioc yes save it and um, what it is saying is do you want to generate code yes that is the reason why we opened this configurator say yes okay uh, yes we want it to be c c plus plus perspective and you can see here it runs the um, um, 
configurator and it generates the code so all the <coughs> Uh, configurations, initializations, everything is taken care. And if you go to um, initialization um, in this function, you can see that uh, the GPU pin uh, is being reset and this is being uh, uh, configured as output, okay, um, with uh, push pull mode. And <coughs> the speed you can see here is configured. Uh, as low speed so even those configurations can be changed as per our requirement and um, the initialization is happening in this hall gpio init so what the, what is a kind of configuration um, whether it be push pull or all these configurations are set here or whether it is gpio everything will be set in this uh, um, configuration now if we go back so this is the uh, input now uh, we want to toggle the GPA, right? To blink the LED. Okay, so copy this, go to your uh, main function, okay, and in the while one, include this. So uh, to generate some delay, let us try to use for loop, which is the easiest thing for everyone, okay, and um, here. Try to have for loop uh, i is equal to zero, i less than or equal to. For now, keep um, some delay. So this can be calculated. The amount of delay can be calculated by the clock uh, um, that is being given to the CPU. Um, that means one by four uh, um, mega edge, which is the clock, and then uh, into number of times, which gives the um, okay so and then this is for reset if we go to the declaration you can see uh, for setting the enum is uh, um, set okay so copy set here and after setting it uh, use a delay okay so this is how we does the uh, configuration and then let us try to run this to see if there are any errors or any conversy you can see zero errors and zero warnings and let us try to uh, debug this okay um select the default configuration and it starts the uh, debugger okay switch to the uh, debugging option and once you try to run this um, you can see the led blinking on the board so this is how we are going to use the um, stm32 cube ide to blink an led so you can use a uh, logic analyzer to see the amount of timing that is being generated so that again depends on uh, the tool you have so this is how we um, uh, blink an led um, use uh, which is present on, on the stm 32 wp 55 well board um, the p dash nuclear wp 55 um, and using stm 32 uh, cube ide thank you